This time, Ford of Germany's crazy Cosworth-powered 1974 Capri RS 3100 factory racer. featured the most incredible heavyweight brawl for European Touring Car Championship supremacy between BMW and Ford of Germany. Every year from 1970 through 74, the title was won by one of these two manufacturers. The Ford took the title in 1971 and 72 with its Capri RS 2600, which it created specifically for this purpose. But then BMW came back in 1973 with this incredible 3 CSL Batmobile. It completely wiped the floor with Ford. It won six of the eight races that year and easily took the championship. But what's more, Jochen Neerpash had been such a vital part of Ford's successes over the last couple of years, had actually jumped ship, moved to BMW. And this made Ford really mad. And when Ford gets mad, it spends money. Now for 1974, Ford came out swinging. It created a new version of the Capri called the RS3100. It produced 250 road cars, which was the bare minimum required to homologate the model for racing. But this was important because it allowed the company to carry across all the important parts it needed for the race cars. From there, it set about creating an absolute jewel of a racing car. They had Cosworth build the engines, and these were very special engines. And amongst its driver lineup was new Ferrari signing Nicky Lauda. Now apparently there were only three new RS3100 race cars built by Ford Germany in 1974. All three still exist. Two of them are in Germany. In fact, one of them is in the Ford Museum in Cologne. And the third one's sitting right here. Now the first thing that strikes you with these magnificent 1974 Capri RS3100 race cars is this crazy body kit. I believe this was all wind tunnel tested and it really does look incredible. It looks even more amazing on a racetrack. Now these Capris are even in the 1971 and 72 RS2600 form. They did have a they did have fender flares, but every year they just got progressively bigger and ultimately culminating in what you see here with these very boxy style flares. Very wide. Uh, and they serve several purposes. Uh, one obviously is to house these in beautiful BBS wheels. This is the first year, 1974 was the first year that these cars were fitted with the large single nut wheels, BBS wheels. Uh, prior to this they had the four stud wheels. Now these are 16 inches in diameter which is uh, quite a special thing for 1974. Most cars had 15 inch wheels, these were on 16 in, in diameter. The rears 16 inches wide, the fronts 12 inches wide. If you look at the back ones here, you can see there's beautiful ducts along the top here to allow heat, hot air to escape. And along the front of the flares there's an opening here and that's quite important and I will tell you more about that when we have a look at the engine.
coming around the back, it's got this interesting, what looks like a lower rear spoiler of sorts, but that actually houses the oil coolers for the diff and the gearbox. You can see again, slots in the rear there just to allow heat to escape. It's all about efficiency. These cars ran long distance races. And it was all about speed and efficiency and reliability. So this car was built to a set of FIA regulations called Group 2 and while Group 2 was largely production based, as you can see from this crazy body kit, this amazing deep front spoiler with its front brake ducts, as you can see there were a lot of freedoms allowed in, in the regulations but one of the things I find very strange is that you couldn't fit a rear spoiler unless it was fitted to the road car. And that's where BMW got one over on Ford in 1973 with its 3CSL. So the 3CSL was homologated with a giant three-piece rear spoiler. And that, because it was available on the road car, that meant BMW could use it on the race car. So the BMWs had a lot more rear downforce than the Fords. The Fords in 1973 had no rear spoiler. I don't know if it's a true story or not, but I've heard that the three-piece rear spoiler that was fitted to the 3CSL was so big that it wasn't actually legal to be used on German roads. So when you went to your BMW dealer and picked up your lovely new 3CSL, the three-piece spoiler was in three parts stored in the trunk. I hope that's a true story because I just love it. So anyway, this is one of the reasons that Ford produced its batch of 250 RS3100 road cars, so it could homologate this rear spoiler. So the RS3100, importantly, had a rear spoiler fitted to it. And as a road car, it kind of looks a bit ridiculous because it has 13 inch diameter wheels and it has the narrow bodywork, but it has a giant rear spoiler. But such was the case with homologating racing cars, and such was Ford's commitment to winning the European Touring Car Championship.